Hello and welcome to an impromptu bowling session. Coming to you from the easiest place there ever is to do candle pin bowling, Masons in Lemonster. If you believe that, as I always say, I have a bridge in Brooklyn. Well, this time a bridge in Brooklyn to sell you. Actually, I think it always was the one in Brooklyn. I think last time I sold the one that was in San Francisco. Anyway. Here to do our usual sixth thing. Fi yes, we, as in Chris and I, he's finally back. And he elected to go first. Per usual, we don't rush anyone, so whenever he's ready, he may go. Uh, well, he hasn't done this in a while. But I bet you he'll still beat me. That's better. Oh, and it went right. Well, it's doing better. Oh, well, you got half of them. Yeah. At least you can say it's not less than. This is a dog fight, five versus five. That first one literally just fell right out of my hand. It seems like the Mark's ball cleaner didn't quite get that one that well. But in the defense of his ball cleaner, I think it has a much longer, much longer cleaning cycle than Brian's. I probably should have let it finish. It wasn't doing that bad of a job when I stopped him. That's better, well. Still a dog fight. The one that sucks versus the one that's rusty. Ooh, oh, too full. Well, the good thing is you didn't take it a pin. You didn't take the ten out there. So the good thing is you didn't take the ten. Yeah. And six. Place the sandpaper. 
first stink frame of the day with a four. So to absolutely no one's surprise, Chris is leaving. The rusty beating the one that plane sucks. Told you the magic died. Just wondering where the resurrection comes in. We know that's happened. to at least get one more pin. All right. Looks like I'm going for a new low score, which by the way is a 44. My high single, which will never happen here, is a 139. Well, it looks like the magic has completely died. Maybe that streak, if you want to call it that, was just luck. Well, the sandpaper's a little worn on that side. Uh, yeah. Pins aren't supposed to slide at Mason's. Eight. Sadly, that's the best either of us have done. And what I hear, three to two odds. Chris will get the first mark. Two to one for a strike. Me. First mark, 10 to 1. First to get a strike, about 250 to 1. First and only decent frame so far. And here's the pathetic halftime report. Yeah, it looks like this is going to be a you suck moment. Only the nine. Meanwhile, Chris has the eight, but he's more consistent. 33 30. Absolutely no one's surprised Chris is winning. your object pin and you get penalized. That sucks. Ooh. Punch the six out. Hey, you know, well, you know, seven from a spread eagle. Not too bad. Even the pros would say that. Thank you. 
are eight and eight. Warming up or just being lucky? And again, I expect to suck at Mason's, you know, under 70. Ooh, ouch. He's at Miola's and Sterling. No, that I think that's the halfway point from Premier to Worcester. Was a, it was a little off, but it helped clear out that, uh, that dreaded void. I should get at least, uh, I thought it was going to get at least one of them. Those of you that might have stumbled upon Candlepin for the first time watching this video, you gotta wait for the wood to settle. I was aiming for the V, but it went too far left. Still got the rebound anyway for 10. First clean play to the day. I think that was like 35 to 1 that I would be the one doing it. That gave you a lead. It, yeah, that's not saying much. <laughs> it says you're rusty and I suck. Oh, he just did what I did. But I didn't do that. Just get something. Ouch. Four. You have an excuse. the 60s is this one going to go? It's funny how you, those triangles are so hard to get on their own, but when they're with the other seven, it's so easy. Throw the same speed. You and him throw the same speed. Oh, I didn't see that pin behind it.
niner. Ooh, on my last frame, I could squeak into the bottom end of mediocrity. At Mason's, that's kind of sort of okay. I'd still like 80s or higher. Ooh. Oh. I hate that leave when you hit it right. It looks like Chris has more favorable wood than I did. I think they're taking New Palace's approach of making the pins just roll all for like 10 minutes. Ooh, that, that's favorable. That's got, that's got spare written all over it. Well, now it's got 10 written all over it. Ooh, that's a seven. I like winning when we both do well, not because one sucks and one just got lucky at the end. Things went back to normal, eights and seven, while the seven pair of nines. Mediocrity of 73, and Chris, he's been away for a while, so we can understand the 66. Game number two. they say in Spanish game number El Tuo. No. Richard Dawson told me what taught me that one well. But not how to speak English. Problem is I talk faster than my my brain goes faster than my mouth can. Our friend Bob is here, and Chris is the one to first greet him. Hi, Bob. Bob Kaliri. Four horsemen right in the eight. Time for you to go away, Bob. Well, not too bad. Much better start than game one. fight thing again. Oh, well, still, close enough. Just always remember, twice I've got a three-digit score and one of those frames in that set were twos. Really? Ooh. 
up, went to the right. The sandpaper kept the helicopter from going to the left. It is a little worn in that section because it should have just stopped after one rotation. Ooh, nice way to get the 10. Now he's putting the screws to me. He's winning, but hey, a nine and an eight, I'm, I'm okay with that. As you know from the, from the tournament tryouts, if I do well and lose, I'm not upset. the black hole. And six. What could have been if I could only throw the ball fast? Yeah. Ooh. Ouch. Same mess that I had when... Yeah, except a piece of wood on the left that's useless. Well, he tried. At least he, at least he made the attempt. Ten. Just stayed on for the night. I mean, just stayed. On. Remains for the seven. You trying that? Are you uh, trying that common core math? Yeah. Are you doing common core math yes. over there? Yes. Thank you. 
Ooh. Nice ball, but ow, that's seven pin. That's a tough one. I'd say if you brush, that's six on the far right. Ball could kick out the ten. Six. Just like that. Oh! That's exactly what I would have done. I would have done that, and well, <laughs> that would have happened. Ten. so much for the average board. It's rebuildable, but still. Halftime report. Chris is getting back into the swing of things with a 43. One lousy six. Eh, well, the seven and six. 39 and rebuildable. And there you go. Whoever put money on Chris getting the first mark, well, you're not really getting too much from it. Probably even returns. And that's the story of my life. <laughs> and that's my first, it should have been ball two moment. Not planned, but hey, that's it. That's it versus bonus. Stinko arrived, gave him a three. Oh. And eight. Lousy three fill, but an eight for the parade.
I think the bowling god's name must be Bob. He's left the middle finger for nine. And suddenly this place is really, really dead. And again, it's kind of the end of the lunch hour anyway. It's almost quarter four in the afternoon. Ooh, nice ball, and no. Anywhere else it probably would have happened. And another mark? No. You see, when everybody's behind... When everybody's behind the wall and not in view, I can run under there, rip off the paper, so it'll expose the steel plate and maybe things will work. <laughs> Sandpaper, it is. Too little too late for Vegas, but for the game, not so much. He got a nice spare and I got a nice spare. Yeah. Although mine was just barely. Who's <laughs> thinking about it? The important thing is it went the right way, just like that ball did, but now the inverted version of what happened previously. If it hits that piece of wood on the left, that's most front most. Or do that. Down 10. Or nine. I swore that would have been a ten. You know what time it is? El Stinko the bonus ball. What will the bonus be? Uh -huh. The magic has died. I have not had one good El Stinko in a long time. a nine frame, leaving the king pin. See, the king pin's further back and is darker than the head pin. That's how you can tell them apart. I bring that up for the bowling busters because they call the king pin the middle finger. <laughs> Holy crap, a good game. I just need a stink frame of two. That was a good shot. Again, it's so easy to get that right triangle when it's with its friends, but not when it's alone. And 10. And he wins this one. But I'm happy if I can get at least two. I just made somebody very, very rich. Oh, I'm 
just hearing from, uh, I see on Chris's phone that some, for every $10 you put down, that strike is getting people around $58,000. And with that, two El Stinko the bonus balls. Let's see what these add up to. Our friend Bob showed up again. And he waves his middle finger again. The story of so close yet so far away. Especially here. Now this is where I say I like it when I win. Neither of us stunk, except for that, and that, 92.97. And if we both do well and I lose, I don't care either. And as I said before, if I, we both do well and I lose, like that 129 to 108, at the tryouts, I'm not upset. 108. Ooh. I think Chris was wishing to put money on me getting the strike first. Actually, it was. Uh, it was kind of... I'm going to say uh, it's up to the individual what you want to count on. Extended on that one. Right. Yeah. That's an eight. The elbow didn't like it. Ooh. Oh, he almost got his. Oh, I was hoping that it would just nick it, and maybe, just maybe. This place is dead. And he leaves a kingpin for the niner. You can also see, even at 720p, you can see a bigger black space between the uh, lane and the front of the pin. That's another way you can tell it's the kingpin. Thank 
He got screwed again. The wood just went the wrong way. This time not as favorable. Although that wood, if it stays a little more, maybe a little more to the right, he could afford a bad shot and get the spare anyway. This is not New Palace. And 10. Wishing that was ball two. just plain bad. Bowling gods speaking to me again for the night. Ooh. Uh, yeah. Ow. Ow. But the wood pile though. Spare. Uh, nope. 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 Uh, it went too far right. Was it hooking right? Because I swore it looked like it was going. Yeah, I, 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 wants to show me his other side. Maybe the resurrection's happening now. It could have been the balls were extremely filthy. Ouch. Punches out the David Letterman on the right. Good thing. Yeah. Mason's moment averted. Oh, six. Like I said, twice I've got a two frame and scored over on it. check. My buddy Aaron Halbadell checked it and long before he reached there he found it's behind the line. I could never tell. 
even when I had 15, 15 vision as a kid before I gave it up for 30 years. Ball two. So that's ball two. And a niner. Halftime report. 41-43. Chris had that little sick stumble. But he's still in good shape. 41-43. If I can at least get three good games, I mean two I can live with, but I would like three, which makes me feel good. Ooh, speaking of good, oh, then it was too full. He was too full on the head pin. That's something we both should try. Ouch. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That's two sixes. The worst way to get six. Narrow. You know what he's got to do if he gets another six. I don't think you've done it. Oh, you actually did? Oh, I, I honestly don't remember that. I thought it was my co co-worker one. Ooh, you're safe. No Tom didn't show up. Kingpin again. That seems to be a thing. He avoids the Slayer with a knife. It had to be the balls were extremely filthy. That day was just awful. And Exeter Lanes and Riverwalk Lanes are not bad places. Ooh. Masons must have just recently cleaned their stuff. My hands aren't getting dirty yet. See, that's the thing. It's a cleaning cycle. Mason started the clean phase. Riverwalk is due for a cleaning. Nothing out of the ordinary. Perfectly normal thing that happens. 
seven, eight, and hey, okay. well, considering where you started. Somebody who has been away versus someone who's doing it at least almost every week. Then again, they wouldn't be making those millions of dollars on YouTube. <laughs> 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 Too bad it's pretty good jump ball. Too bad it's the reverse half wish to right. Worst case scenario, it's still an eight. Another ball. I wish it was ball two moment. No, no, I wish it was ball two moment. Ooh, very good chance of a, at least a bottom end of average game. Ow. This time he didn't get the full trying. you in towards the bottom end of average according to ICBA standards from casual league players data that they've had over years 90 being the average 80 to 100 is usually the spread from the bottom end of average with one frame left. Ooh. Oh, four horsemen on the right. Maybe. Oh. He took out famine. Leaves war for the nine. He squeaks into the bottom end of average. can kind of be okay with this one, the win that is. 84, okay, that's a four. I'm too close to the phone, it looks like a nine on the, 
until I put my head back a foot. I mean, Chris didn't do too bad. It's just that six. And I had that six and a seven. 84, 81. That's the halfway point. Oh, now he, he's doing something different, like my father used to do, except it was alternating. Now I'm going first. How inventive. Horsemen are drawing nearer. Upon the scene they ride, coming to take your strike. Now that the wood is rested, I can throw. check that looks like a wood check if it yeah that's definitely a wood check is it rolling backwards looks like it is and wood check again see if this were brian's he'd let me go up there that much between the pin and the deadwood line kingpin's still there Oh no, that's actually the bowling god's middle finger. Too bad that didn't count. Isn't that how it usually works? That's how it usually works. Oh, at least it's ten. Oh, the resurrection came quick. Oh, you pick it back up again, you'll be in it. It weren't for that David Letterman shot, which is not an official bowling term. That's a thing here. <laughs> what the hell? You got wood again. Damn, I'm almost tempted to do it myself. <laughs> yeah. Alrighty, we're stopping again. <laughs> that one's way out. And like I say, I always go to the front desk first. The only difference is Brian lets me do it myself. Even at Brian's. Oh, I waited till he was done shoot. I don't know if the lag might... Lag in the phone might... Actually, it would make it look like I waited longer. I'm thinking. I waited till you shoot.
Even at Brian's, I go to the desk first. Then he tells me I can do it. I think that one might have just inched over the log line. Niner, middle finger. Because they're used to just going one way and sticking with it. <laughs> Great ball, and then that. Ooh, that's a tough one. If he, if he caps it on the left, just like that. No, nope. just too far right. Narrow seven, as bad as a narrow six, except at least it's one more point. How does that happen? You hit your object pin and everything but the everything but the four falls. How does that happen? This is not New Palace. This is not New Palace. Actually, it was to quote Mark Ritchie: "This isn't New Palace. This is not New Palace." On that wonderful one eight nine shot that I had. You know the drill, minor lobs we let live. This ain't an official competition, so. They didn't put magnets in the end of the pins. 
from the sandpaper to boot. Well, you never know. That almost looked like something might have slightly happened. Well, at least it's eight. Halftime report. Nothing spectacular either way, but he's winning by one. The seven hurt, but he's been consistent nines and eights, 43, 42. That's the worst six of the day. And that makes the average game go bye bye. Also gets some eight and nines. Let's just say nines, tens. That's better. Lily, no. Spread Eagle with prey in one of its talons. Well, oh, six. Out of that mess, I nah, kind of got to take it. moment the ball actually went where I shot it. Maybe average is possible again. Nice shot. Ooh, makeable though. Spare. No. That looked it from here. They even stood more towards the center to be sure. Well, a ten. El Stinko, the bonus ball. Some of you still like that, so every once in a while. Let's see what El Stinko gives us. Hopefully better than one. El Stinko wasn't too bad. It was a seven.
Curse of the Phil. Although it was halfway decent. Ooh, I could probably actually hit average average. The 90. This is what happens when you're away a while. The bowling busters, they know that. And that's shit. That's oh. Thou openeth thy mouth. Seven. Bottom end of average, but hey, at Mason's, that's not too bad. Almost 4.30, we're the only ones bowling. Ooh, ooh, there, much deserved. At night, though, this place is very full. Pin for the nine. Just a little below average average, but not too bad. And like I say, especially for Masons. That's kind of an El Stinko ball. I mean, the fill ain't too bad, but the leave is. Ouch. We tied. Pair of 88s. All right, second to last game. Hey, I made three of them, so I guess the resurrection happened. Also known as, also known as really filthy bowling balls really hurt. Oh, yeah.
War from the Four Horsemen remain for now. Clear. Well, at least it's a point. At least it didn't drop in, come back out. Sometimes I can actually play the game. Now, if I can figure out why things go left and right, then I could probably win a B title. And see, he lets me keep the money that way. He doesn't have to pay royalties for shots like that. Friend El Stinko, the bonus ball. One sucked and lived up its name. The other one was pretty good. El Stinko left the Kaliri left for five. Favorable piece of wood that if I hit the one and one and two, I could get the spare. I saw the way to get the 9, but I didn't think I was getting the 7 pin for the 10. Me, yeah, I went to the right. And he got himself a Kaliri left. As I was going to say, you know the only thing the piece of wood would help with is if he had an errant shot, and there it was. You know what I did? When I was approaching, I thought I saw that piece of wood move. That's where the ball oh. <laughs> That's exactly what happened. At least you can somewhat aim. He found the very narrow spot where the ball can be on the lane and not hit anything. Six, the four horsemen left. Both the direction and what was standing. Alright, I know that piece is good. 
See, I know that piece is good because it just simply fell forward. If the head pin were to simply fall forward, there's still another eight inches before the line. Could a Cinderella moment happen at Mason's? My high here is a 111. I've only hit 104 times ever. Twice in one, twice in one video. not play game six. Oh, we're gonna play game six. All right, he's he was telling me he might not, but yeah, he's been away from the game. He has an excuse. Five again. Right now, I'm just uh, mailing it in. Just a little angry at myself. Another El Stinko. First one sucked, second one was pretty good, third one was all right. Okay. That's a fill. El Stinko stunk for the pins, that's another strike. I could be having that Cinderella moment right now. Which means, you know what happens afterwards. It might not happen today. It might happen the next time. Death. Come on! That had spare all over it. Nope, it didn't. Niner. Just wanted to tease you. Oh. Two L Stinkos. I've only gotten a double strike three times ever. Twice at Putnam's, well, that's kind of a given. And oddly enough, the other time, Chris was there at Brian's. Well, right now I'm running away with it, and you know what happens when I run away with it in the first half, the great collapse. So far, a 64 at the least versus 31. He's having one of my moments. He's having one of my last week disasters. Two El Stinkos. Let's hope they add to something. You want eight or more for a strike, but seven, not too bad. Niner. And a nine.
this is your throwaway game. That's my no, that's my pen. This is good. I used to like the one on the left, but it's better. Ooh, that's better. Ooh, no. That was a good throw. But then again, remember at one point we were left. <laughs> Here it comes. We know it happens when we're hot in the first half. You know, when I actually look like I can play the game. Ooh! Oh, come on. You know, now that I think about this, this is the very lane that, oh crap, what's his name? He hasn't made a YouTube video in a long time. If he's watching this, I feel bad that I forgot your name. But him and I did a collab here on lane 10. You haven't made videos, that's why I forgot who you are. I got lucky with the eight, but the collapse is happening. It's still going to be a nice score and probably the fifth time I've ever hit three digits here. What sucks is after I make this video, I'm going to remember his name. Cut that crap. Ten. Alrighty, thirty minute mark, so stop start thing. Alright, we're back. Pulling off the three digit miracle during the great collapse. Yeah, it's the Great Collapse still going on. I'm nine points away, no, uh, ten points away from my high here. 
So I guess we're not going to hit the high, but what the heck do I care? Six. Oh, come on. That would have made that would have fallen anywhere else. Great collapse. And the collapse is over. For here, not bad at all, but unfortunately, as always, white hot in the very first five, and it goes completely kaputs after. Oh, half Worcester outside. As Dave Madla says, it's pretty when it goes. did not go. Eight. No, that sandpaper's not going to let it move. This is Chris's throwaway. It's no house high. Not that I'm upset with that, but look at how it all fell apart at the end. But still, 108. Yeah, like I said, Chris is rusty. He has his moments. That's his throwaway. A 73 for a throwaway? I <laughs> mean, that's actually decent enough to call it. Yeah. His standards are higher because he's better than me. He might have the lower high single of 118, and I have the 139, but he's got the triple of 354, and mine's only 314, so. The last game, I don't know if he's going to continue or not. Or we might just abort it altogether. Let's find out. a good start. Well, if you were with me last week, this is deserved. <laughs> oh, yeah? I don't want to spoil it, but they were, it was... Only two games in the 80s, everything else was low mid 70s. It was horrible. I probably just ruined two months to watch me suck at bowling right there. Ooh, spare. Come on. Anywhere else. Well, actually, he might have left the five and nine, but. Ah. 
Rebuildable. Rebuildable. Two El Stinkos. Now that the great collapse is hopefully over and done with. For the game, a six is good, but for a strike fill, not so much. And that's what we're getting. Curse of the fill. Could this be the great collapse continuing or just a bum frame? mentioned before, twice I've gotten three digits with a lousy two frame, so I mean, it can happen. Damn, his name is on the tip of my tongue now, and I, I, I feel bad for you. Something Pete. Night Owl Pete. That's the guy we did a collab on Lane 10 here. Sorry, Night Owl Pete, if you actually watch this. I am horrible with people's names. Horrible. And the great collapse continues. We're starting to rebuild and it fell apart again. Score's not too bad, but it could have been a lot better. Ooh! Oh! All right, that. The short wing lost its prey. Almost took care of the left wing. Ouch. Seven. Oh, how that was horrible. Not as bad as what happened to Crapper One. I think he had a full rack, gutter ball hit the pins and Six of them fell. Maybe that's the end of the collapse.
the collapse doesn't always stay through the whole game. Some of the handwriting I've seen in, during the New Pals competition, that practically looks like computer print. Again, but oh, the piece of wood. You couldn't put it in a better spot. That looks good. Oh, he could have got a nine if the sandpaper wasn't there. Oh, well, respectfully. Building up, building up. That's how I look at it when I have to, when everything goes horribly wrong, except nothing built up last week. He's having my last week. finger remains for now. The collapse is probably over now. Looks like it. Ooh. Oh, come on. Oh, finally. Finally. He deserved at least two more of those. <laughs> yeah, rusty and hurting. I mean, that's how it happens sometimes. He's having my last week. 47 to at least a 34 with a bonus, which could right the ship. I couldn't see a gap between the five pin and the ball. That's how close it was. It's an eight at least. That's another good one. Oh. What the hell? Six fill. Not so good for the strike, but I mean for the score itself, it definitely is a helper. Ugh, six.
up for something that completely slipped out of my hand. See, I was right. I spared a couple pins. Eight is enough. For some reason, I watched the Waltons, and I have no idea how I like that show. When I think back. Nothing wrong with it, just wasn't really my style yet. I watched it. Another. Oh, well, it went left. Funny how the errant ones seem to leave, get more pins. Cherry picked the three. Right at the last minute. Any one else would have got the spare. He's having my last week. It sucks. I don't like seeing this either. Well, I figured I had to introduce it my favorite ball. It was my favorite yeah. ball. Yeah. Yeah, you wanted to see your liberal side. Because <laughs> you did your conservative side a while ago. Oh, and he goes, and he decides to be bipartisan on that one. Out of the Democrat, middleman, and Republican, he took out the Democrat for the eight. Yeah, the Great Collapse, like I said, it doesn't always last into the next game. Usually it doesn't. But it bounced back earlier than usual, so... Still nothing impressive, but definitely something I'll take. You know, it hurts is a lot of times you threw a great ball and you got screwed. Yeah. 
Ooh. Perhaps the bowling gods are giving me a few points for remembering Night Owl Pete's name. The first collab in a bowling alley. And eight. Yeah, he bounced back a little bit. Still another frame. hit of my right leg got a 10. That probably would have been right into the left gutter pretty quick otherwise. Ooh, again. Ooh, but the wood pile. Just has to hit Oh, cut the crap. Welcome to Masons. Side, it is much better in the first. Yeah. Oh, I can't take total pride in beating him because he's been rusty. 92.79. Let's review. Both of us sucked there. 66.73. Somehow I won that. 92.97. Somehow I actually. Pulled that one out of my posterior. 81, 84. That time he won. Oh wait, 70. Yeah, you know, sometimes I really can't tell. Okay, that's game one, then two, five and six. 81, 84. That was. Well, I mean, I actually won most of these except for the tie there. Fifth time I ever hit a hundred at Mason's. Three points away from my high at this place. 73 and well his back started bothering him. But he came back with a 79-92. So it looks like he was having my last week and the resurrection came earlier than it usually does. I honestly think now that it had to bend the bowling balls being so ridiculously filthy. You saw the, if you saw the uh, impromptu from Riverwalk, you saw the paper towels and how they were literally black. <laughs> like I said, it was just at the very, uh, just before his cleaning cycle. So, I mean, just hit it at a bad time. Great place. I would go back. Anyway, that's the impromptu at the world's easiest candle pin house at Mason's. Every pro says they wish they could bowl here all the time for everything. Well, I think I got another bridge I can sell if you believe that one. Georgia551 saying hope you enjoyed and hope Chris gets better. He's got a little nagging back issue as well, but he pulled through. And as I always say before I end it, I never push anyone to continue if they want to stop. That's it. So that's it. Hope you enjoyed. Have a good one.